Nathan Wood and this is my 2006 Mitsubishi Evolution MR. Uh, well, it really started with uh, deciding that I wanted an Evo and then actually buying it and then it kind of evolved from there. I uh, never really involved with any car scene per se until importmeat.com started their events and uh, meets and I'm a bit skittish about meeting up with online folks so it helped that there were a bunch of local people that I knew uh, to get involved with. I've owned the car for about a year and a half. I had a previous Evo that I owned for a year, but it got totaled and I tore it down back to stock before the insurance company hauled it off and put all the aftermarket parts and a few more upgrades on this car. I like to think I put a lot of thought into the modifications I put into the car. Aimless or misguided modding or uh, horsepower modding are all well and good for a lot of people, but uh, it's not really for me. It's got a full set of bolt-ons in the engine compartment, uh, stock short block, stock head. It's got a HKS GT2 turbocharger and stock placement. It's got a full three inch exhaust uh, with a dump tube straight from the turbine through the wastegate of the turbocharger. Uh, uh, back pressure is really the enemy of fun here, so really want to reduce that. It makes it a bit loud though. It's also got a speed density tune on the stock ECU with uh, Tefra V7 Flash from English Racing. For the suspension, it's got a full set of stiffer bushings in a lot of places with some spherical bushings put in there, topped off with a set of Bilstein PSS9 coilovers. And my favorite modification would have to be the wheels. It is definitely the first thing people notice when they see my car. The one word I would use to describe my car is deliberate. Everything put onto the car serves a purpose and the negative effects of each modification has been accounted for. Originally the direction of the modifications in my car was to just make it go faster, more horsepower. And then I kind of felt like what's the point of having all that power with nowhere to use it so I started autocrossing and that's, that's what really changed my whole perception of the car and how to build it. I realized that I really need a lot of uh, suspension and grip to make it around those tight corners. The horsepower wasn't doing a whole lot for me. That suspension uh, would have helped us significantly more. I've gotten the car up to 147 miles per hour. Never doing that again, uh, unless I get a bit more downforce on the car. It was squirrely as hell. I just wanted off that ride. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. My plans for the car are to keep it running. Right now I'm just on run and maintain mode. Uh, any items I want to put on the car are just wish list items that I can't properly justify with my current driving ability. I think I'll do pretty well in the IMSCC. On the autocross portion, uh, I got an all-wheel drive and a pretty high grip to weight ratio uh, compared to any other cars that may be competing. For all the other categories, I'll let the audience judge. I'd like to thank my buddy Chris Ball, he uh, helped put a lot of time into the car. I'd also like to thank my brother Nicholas Wood for drinking my beer and watching Chris and me work on the car. I'd also like to thank my girlfriend Christine McKinley for being supportive of my time intensive hobby. And I should probably thank my parents for letting me use their garage occasionally and some of their tools. Uh, I'd also like to thank the guys down at English Racing for putting up with me.